So coming back has been a bit difficult. Um, trying to settle in, unpacking, um, trying to sit and establish myself and the question that I keep getting is, have you found a job yet? What are you gonna do now? This was like the day I arrived, like I got off the plane, arrived, and I was asked, do you have a job waiting for you? There's that pressure that this society gives, like, can I take a shower? Can I remove my shoes? Can I unpack? Can I do that? But also that, that thing of, can I, like, can I establish myself than always looking for a job? So that's gonna be a struggle. But apart from that, it's really been good to be back home. The weather is perfect. <laughs> and you know, because you're back home, everyone wants to take you out for lunch and that's nice. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much been my week. Like I haven't really done much this week. I've done some shopping. This was the highlight of my week, really shopping fresh foods, green vegetables and fruits. There's nothing like Ugandan fresh vegetables. This is something that I have looked forward to for a very long time. We don't have good cheese. Like we usually make our milk into yogurt or ghee, but not butter or cheese. So I really had to move far and wide to find some ghee. I bought this to find some cheese. I bought this cheese at um, Quality Supermarket in Nalia. I think it's good. It's really good. I like the Parmesan especially. Uh, next thing that I bought that I was really excited about was to buy uh, the Kentaro products. I'm just so excited to see Ugandans creating their own hair products and coming out of Uganda, coming out of Africa. And I will do a review of these later on, but right now I'm just really enjoying it. My hair is enjoying this product. I've had such a hard day today. It was both a good day and a bad day. So right now I'm at home and I'm sitting in darkness to show you the level of corruption in Uganda. So these guys from Umeme who do um, who run the electricity, um, they come and say that all oh, you guys have been have been tampering with your poles and therefore it's a crime and so we're going to disconnect you. And I wasn't at home. My neighbor was at home. And so he was, because we share a line, and so he was like, how would we climb up the poles and start touching stuff? I mean, we use a system which is a prepaid system. Why would we start climbing poles? What the heck? And so he, he like, keeps arguing them with them, and next thing, they disconnect us and walk away. So we're pissed off. We call their customer care. And the customer care is so confused at that point because they're like, what? Why, why would they dis disconnect you? And we explained ourselves and we're like, oh, we don't know, but it's your employee. And then they were like, no, um, tell him to come and connect you. He shouldn't because he can't disconnect us without a notice. You know, no paperwork, nothing to tell us. And now um, I've come back. It's around 9.30. And so we've been calling him all day to come back and, and reconnect us. And then he said that, do you have transport for me to come back and reconnect you? And so my neighbor was like, ah, whatever, okay, I have transport for you, come back. So it's 9.30, we're still waiting for him, he said he's on his way. At 9.30 in the night, the corruption in this country. Umeme, you are very corrupt. All the contractors you're using are very corrupt. Just know that. If you work for Umeme and you watch these vlogs, you are corrupt. So it's morning. And um, this guy, I waited for him all night. He didn't come. And he came like at one in the middle of the night I had someone knocking and I was like there's no way I'm getting out of my bed in the middle of the night to go open up people and he like just climbed up and put the electricity back on without telling anyone 
and went away and at the end of the day when we called the office they said what he did was wrong like he's supposed to serve us a notice that our line has seems to be tampered with and we go to the office to have it verified but then he, they use such tactics to kind of intimidate you and get some money out of you and be as if they're doing you a favor by putting it back on but they are not I've never been so frustrated in my life. I literally woke up today morning with like a breakout of like pimples. That's how, like yesterday was the most stressful day. And it was also the most beautiful day. Like my ne my nephew had his birthday and it was so beautiful. He was so excited. He's turning six and it was just so perfect. <laughs> so perfect and all but then it was a mess after that i had a meeting which when i reached uh had was cancelled um then i went for some um it's called a cpd career something development career professional development something like that for architects and um speaker was talking about green writing for office buildings which is pretty much part of what I did during my master's so I was kind of excited I was listening like wow this is this is amazing this is a discussion that's happening he was doing he's doing his PhD so he's kind of like walking around creating a green writing system for buildings in of, I think I was working mostly with office buildings but it's something that can be developed it's all about starting something so that was cool and then someone else introduced from you and Abbey Habitat representative yeah, then I also got to just catch up with a few of my former classmates. It was good. Then I didn't have my car. Like, so I was moving around an Uber in jam. When I tell you yesterday was the stress of my life, it was the stress of my life. But, uh, but that's the thing about life. Then you wake up today morning and you're okay. At night, like when I didn't have electricity and all my devices had blacked out, all I had was some power on my phone and I went on Facebook to look for a new place because I was done. I was really done with this place and how disorganized it is. And our landlord is not helping us. We are telling her we are being disconnected and she's just like, oh, uh, uh, I don't know. I'm like, chick, did you touch this thing? Like, they're disconnecting us. And, uh. But then I had a long talk with my neighbor too. Because after this guy disconnected us, he didn't switch on our switchboard. What? And I'm new here, so I didn't know where it was. And when my neighbor saw that I was disconnected, he kind of came and switched it on. And then we had this long conversation. And at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to suffer through it. Finish. And the next time I'm moving, it's to move into my own house like that I have built. And not deal with rentals. Because rentals in Uganda are absolute crap. They're not regulated by the government, so landlords do whatever they want. They don't give even bare minimum. Sometimes, like, there's hardly a way to pass through to the gate, so I have to scratch the car every time I'm entering. I'm going to try and deal with it on Saturday. I mean, I'm, I'm an architect, I'm a builder, and I'm creative. So I'm going to just figure that one out on my own because this chick just doesn't know what she's doing and it's really unfortunate because the place is kind of cute but just poorly managed and the finishes are not good. You know, you get the rude awakening that 
you're back in a country where excellence and doing things right is not a prerequisite. It's a blessing. And that's really unfortunate because Ugandans are very hardworking people. We're very, many of us are educated and intelligent, but we don't have the drive and motive to do things right. We just do bare minimum. We yeah, yeah. And it's annoying. It's annoying and it's not right. And I don't know how we're supposed to compete in a global market where people expect service delivery right. And as we have this thing of, hey, madam, I'll come. Madam, yesterday they bought our cake for the birthday one hour late and he still expected to get his full payment. Yet the school only gives you a one hour window to celebrate your birthday for your kid and go. I shan't be stressed. I shan't be stressed in 2017. I will not be stressed in 2017. That's now my mantra. That's my mantra. I will not be stressed in 2017.